Hello people and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm quite excited because I have some really pretty books for you and a very nice figure. So let's get started. So I have this giant collection of uh, haiku which is uh, Japanese poetry. I really like it. Uh, I'm not done collecting them. I, uh, there are still a lot of them but uh, I think that's quite a, a good amount already. So yeah, there are like like Japanese bound style kind of thing. It's 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 very nice. The paper is very very thick, and it's actually like double, like you see like that, and it's. It's very good quality and it's uh, a bilingual edition so you see you have the Japanese text and then the French translation and I love those books like so much the, the poetry or I mean it's just beautiful it's if you don't read haiku you should it's very relaxing like it's it's very um you know, you it's about nature and living in the moment, like Carpe Diem and shit, YOLO, that's gay. <laughs> so yeah, and it's 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 amazing, and you have lots of great author. This one is Ryokan. Uh, I have three books from him. Uh, I also have Santoka. Oh, it's a bit. And I have Basho, I have Soseki, I have Busan. Um, they're all really great and even if... Okay, if you don't know, a haiku is basically a very tiny poem with five, seven and five uh, syllabs. So it's, it's quite hard with something so short to... Uh, make something original let's say but actually they're very good at it it's all about describing one moment one tiny moment like a leaf falling in the water or something like that you know and it's it's just really nice and really relaxing and really uh, soothing and i think everyone should read haiku like if you're if you like smoking for example <laughs> And you like I smoke because it relaxes me. I want to tell you like stop smoking and read haiku instead. It, it works better and it doesn't give you cancer, and it's good for your brain. So, <laughs> you know. And so, um, since we are in the theme of Japan, of course all my figures are Japanese, but they are not all representing traditional Japan, let's say. But I have one which was actually my very first scale figure, and I love it. It's Momohime from Oboru Muramasa, and she is gorgeous. So she has a very nice kimono. She's from Alter, which is like the best brand ever <laughs> for figures. Like, like, I mean, look just at the details in her hair. You see that? The little flowers and the hair and, and, and all the little thing on, on, on her uh, shoulder and the socks. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. And even the sole of the shoe, it has details on it. So yeah. And again, I love the base because Look at that base, it's so tiny, but it feels like it's part of the decor, you know? And it doesn't take any room, it's, it's just perfect. And so this figure is a very popular one, Momohime. Uh, most of people that have it don't seem to have played the game. Uh, I did, I really like this game, Oboru Muramasa. It's like a 2D old school kind of game. You just 
it's like a beat them up, you walk and you kill enemies and it has like a RPG side where you level up and you create your katana and stuff. And it's, uh, it's a really nice game, really pretty with awesome music, but you know, it's, it's quite a simple game. It's, you, you walk, you kill enemies, you walk, you kill enemies, it's not, you don't have to think much, you know. Uh, but it, there is two stories with two characters, so Momohime and uh, Kisuke, but Kisuke is a guy, so of course they didn't make a figure of him. <sighs> I, I don't know what it is with a figure company, like why do they make only girls? Like they rarely make guys, I don't know why. It's... <sighs> but yeah, I guess they, at least they made Momohime and actually uh, they're gonna make also two other characters that aren't playable but are in the game. Uh, it's um, Yuzuruha and uh, Kongiku, she was made already, Kongiku, but uh, she was re-released recently. Uh, she, I mean, she's gonna be re-released in uh, this month, actually. And Yuzuruha was supposed to be released last month, but she wasn't, you know, because Alter delayed figures a lot. It's quite common, so, but it's okay because she looks beautiful and I mean lots of people say she has a broken spine and stuff, but it's the design of the game, it's it's very cartoonish, you know, so I personally don't mind and I found her hair beautiful, I mean, look at this hair, you know what I mean, it's, it's amazing, so I'm really impatient to get them because I pre-ordered them obviously, I'm a big fan of uh, Oboru Muramasa and I really like a uh, pretty girl with uh, big boobs and big butts and stuff. I'm kind of a perv, you know? So yeah. <laughs> uh, Momohime has a nice butt, by the way. I don't know if you can show that on YouTube, but <laughs> she's she has a nice one. Very tiny kimono. <laughs> it's like a mini kimono. So yeah. I, I, really, I really like this figure. And like I said, it was my first first scale figure. So it's kind of special for me, you know, it's like kind of sentimental um, so yeah I really recommend you to to get her because she's beautiful and she's from Alter so she's she has no flaws as far as I can tell no not really, no so yeah, she's she's just great and she, she really pops out in your collection, like, look at the flow of her pose and the, the colors the, of her kimono, the little flowers, the flow in her hair, the little, uh, the katana, with, with, it has, it has little details on it, you see? It's, it's very nice, so yeah. So I really recommend that you read Haiku, and that you get Momohime, and actually like read Haiku with Momohime or something, it will be very relaxing and you will enjoy the beauty of the world and it's, it's something that people should learn how to do more often, you know, like we're always stressing out and I don't know. I feel like most people aren't relaxed, or maybe it's just because I live in Paris, so here we have this feeling uh, that everyone is stressed out all the time. I don't know where you live, how it is. I hope it's better. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and, you know, leave a comment if you have anything to say. I'm open to <laughs> anything, you know, I want to discuss with you about books and about figures. That's why I created this channel, so yeah. So, see you later, guys. Bye!